Martin Kippenberger. Martin, Martin, Martin Kippenberger. What strikes everyone who, who has anything to do with Kippenberger is that he has a very pronounced sense of humor. When he came to Berlin in the 1970s, you have to imagine that Berlin was a very um, unique city. Uh, it was encircled by the Berlin Wall, and uh, it, it, everyone who lived in Berlin was exempt from military service, so it attracted a lot of people who were, shall we say, anti-establishment. And uh, in the area that he was active, Kreuzberg, there is a club called the SO36, which was a, a punk rock establishment, if you want. He organized parties and uh, was involved in the music scene very much so, and he stood on the, on the stage and sometimes made performances there. In total, there are 178 posters that were created by Martin Kippenberger, and we almost have the complete set here. It's a very wild mixture. The invitation cards also served a a purpose of documenting his life, but it was more than just a question of showing which exhibitions were about to happen. Kippenberger's stated goal was to overtake Picasso in his production of posters. He didn't manage. Picasso made something in the region of 400 posters. Kippenberger only managed to do 178, but um, he also lived for a much shorter time. An amusing little anecdote that is also illustrated in one of the posters is an exhibition that was entitled Dialogue with Youth, Dialog mit der Jugend, which documented an encounter that Kippenberger had with a, a famous punk girl by the name of Ratten Jenny, who always had a large rat on her shoulder. And um, because Martin Kippenberger was wearing a suit and was in this area that was not at all conducive to wearing suits, um, he was heavily beaten up by this girl uh, in the process, the, the rat also uh, died. And the image of him being beaten up and having his head in bandages and all bruised and everything like that was used as a poster and a, as an invitation card. And the title of that exhibition was called Dialogue with Youth. We have a selection of drawings here, some of which are on hotel stationery, and others are on different types of papers that he used on his travels, for example, some of these works were made in his Brazilian uh, trip in 1986, a trip that he later uh, gave the name the Magic Misery Tour because it was a, a very unpleasant trip. They were very hot the whole time. They were uh, constantly being uh, in trouble with prostitutes and people who were trying to rob them. But it was a very important trip for him. And um, you can see that some of the paper is, that is used here is actually on Brazilian official documents um, that he then coloured in. Some of them have references to experiences that he had in Brazil. There's a, this one here is entitled, I don't have problems with men, I am a Rio gay boy. The title of the work behind me is The End of the Alphabet, which uh, is somewhat obvious. But it is, in this case, it is a prototype for an edition that was made this exhibition at Dickinson in London, which is to be, to be held here until the 30th of October, is a unique opportunity to see practically the entire gamut of Martin Kippenberger's work in one condensed exhibition. This almost unique collection offers an insight from the very first days of Martin Kippenberger's work as an artist over his successes and his downfalls. It offers a really interesting insight and allows you to really get a very good idea of the work and the complexity of Martin Kippenberger's output. Cut.